Hello, hello, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Saturday. It's actually Saturday afternoon. We are doing one of the last two big things that I wanna do before this baby comes, which is to prep some food and to pack the hospital bag. Today is all about food. So I'm about to go through our freezer and clean it out. And then we're gonna to go to Costco and stock the fuck up. I have a lot of ideas for how we're gonna do food postpartum that I will get into. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> that I will get into later in this video. But for now, the first thing we definitely have to do is clean out our freezer. Here's the thing. We don't eat a lot of frozen food. We're not, we're not really like big frozen food people. We will occasionally have a frozen pizza. Occasionally I'll buy the, like the frozen mac and cheese at Trader Joe's. And then we'll usually buy like one dessert a week. But those things just sit on top of a freezer that has been full since the day we moved into this house. And I could not tell you more than two things that are in here. So there are things that have been in here for years. <laughs> And we just, yeah, we're not typically, cause I cook a lot, we're not typically frozen food people, but I'll put things in the freezer thinking like, oh, I'll get that later. And then things go to die in here. So we're gonna clean this out today. Okay, so. Ooh, should we have a mochi? Should we have a mochi to start? Yeah. All right, should we just finish these off? Oh no, there's three left. Never mind. This was our one dessert for the week. I bought mochi. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Okay. We keep the mochi we just bought it this week. But we have a lot of ice cream in here that's probably years old. Oh, oh fuck, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. This is open. That's literally years old. That's even older. Even older? Ooh, olive oil flavor. There's gotta be a date on here. That's disgusting. That's why I didn't eat it. It was not good. It wasn't good. Cinnamon and honey fried chicken. Oh, we got these at the same time. These are yours. Yeah, this is from, honestly, when we moved in here around. <laughs> if I buy ice cream, I eat it. Okay. What are these? Squeezable smoothies. You got those. Yeah. I mean, they're still good. You can pull up. They're in individual packets. I think I had one once. Were they good? Yeah, I just had to let it thaw for it. Was, it was way too frozen. It says freeze, but it says it's still good until next July. Yeah, keep it. All right. We got a bottle of Bacardi. Neither of us drink Bacardi. Yeah. Let's gift this to somebody. Yeah. It's unopened. Yeah. This Beyond Burger. I had no idea that was has simply been a year since the day we moved in. I made like half these tater tots like a year and a half ago. <laughs> Are these the ones I just bought? Yeah, I just bought these. I think we should just get rid of all the meat because I have no concept of when I froze the meat. That's the top drawer. Speaking of just meat, see like I, I'm like, oh my God, it's stuck to the fucking thing. I'll like buy chicken and we won't eat it in time and I'll put it in the freezer like, oh, mm -hmm. then we'll have chicken later and then I just buy chicken the next week. That's silly. Yeah, because I, I'm i not very good at using the freezer. We've got some nips in there. We do have some nips in here. Vodka. That's kind of yummy, a watermelon. Watermelon Smirnoff. Kettle one, that looks yummy. <laughs> okay, we'll cook with the alcohol up here. And this is an ice pack. I have all of these like Kevin's frozen meals that I bought a while ago, but I think they're all still good, so. Frozen meals are frozen meals. Okay. Oh my God, there's so much shit in here. I bought these recently and I haven't opened them, so these are good. What? You just throw out the other bag of paper dots. Those are, who knows how old. These I bought in the last month. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> Ice cream? That's from a pizookie, probably. That is from a pizookie, yes. If you know, you know. All right, we've got some limoncello. You want to keep that, I Absolutely. imagine. Well, let's just put it here for now. We can assess all alcohol later. There's more Tito's. This is definitely yours. I don't like the condition of the box. <laughs> okay. Um, at one point, this was organized in such a way that was meant to make sense to me. Um, here's really old shrimp. Oh yeah, that's, these expired in 2021. Okay. <laughs> um, and they're on the top. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna toss all of those. Everything is frozen together. There's so many M&Ms here from like us putting the flurries in the <laughs> freezer. <laughs> oh my God. What? Pumpkin pie cream liqueur. When the fuck did we get that? And why is it in the freezer? It says refrigerate. <laughs> you probably bought it when you were, you were in a cocktail making phase for a while. I mean, it 
sounds delicious. An enticing blend of pumpkin, brown sugar, and nutmeg. It does say it's a which makes me curious about it. Yeah, let's throw it in. Oh, these expired last year. You would think I'd be embarrassed about this, but I'm really, what the fuck? I know what this is. It's bananas that I froze in 2020. We didn't even live here in 2020. I took them from the old apartment. Get rid of the whole thing. Hold on, right? we, need another, we need another trash bag. Okay, we're almost done. This doesn't, this doesn't fit. There's so many fucking M&Ms at the bottom of this freezer. What is this? This looks like I just froze some water. Like I tried to make myself an ice pack. Can we just put that in the sink? More expired vegetables, two years expired. And again, that was on the top of this pile, so I'm- I feel so vindicated that you always yell at me about leaving food in the fridge. Well, it sets there for a week and then it's gone. It's gone because I get rid of it. This is food you put in here three years ago. This is from your mom. Oh. Way more than three years ago. Oh, <laughs> the bag in the box is leaking. All right, well, that's that. I mean, it's a disgusting mess in here. Gross. I mean, it is gross in here. This whole thing should just be washed, defrosted and washed. It's really not that bad. It's just some fruit leaked. And then of course there's all these fucking m &Ms. Oh, oh you take it. this whole thing out. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, the sink really wasn't that dirty. It really just, not the sink, <laughs> the freezer. I'm just cleaning out the, the bins because it had some like fruit that must have exploded, but it's honestly coming up really easy. And now we'll have lots of room to put more things in it, but this time we won't forget that we have these things in them, A, because, well, we might, all right, let's not put too much <laughs> pressure on ourselves here. But, oh my God, stunning. Oh yeah. Hello. Very clean. Thank you. Mostly we're not gonna forget because we're gonna be dependent on this food because I have a feeling postpartum, I'm not gonna be willing to cook and we just don't have enough money to get takeout for every single meal. So, <laughs> That is why we are not gonna let the freezer get to the state it was at before. If you'll notice, a lot of the things we threw out were like bags of veggies because I would buy them, use half the bag, forget that I had the bag, buy more, in a continuous endless cycle. Same with fruit, because I definitely went through a phase in like 2021, 2020, 2021, you could tell where I was making a lot of smoothies. That's where all that fruit came from. I've gotten a lot better in the last couple of years that if I buy something, I have a plan to use the whole thing by the end of the week. So that's why all that stuff was so old and it hasn't been happening a lot more recently because I've, you know, I've adjusted my, my meal planning now that I have more time at home to minimize food waste in the house, but it had been a problem. <laughs> when I was working a lot more and cooking a lot less, it had been clearly a problem. Also, I haven't even addressed this, but look at how fucking curly my hair got today. I left the curlers in for like, several hours longer than I usually would. Now we know what happens when I do that. All right, all the freezer parts are clean again. Let's see here. All right, we've got sweets and ice packs up top. We've got frozen meals in this section and then we'll do frozen, probably more frozen meals in this section, but we've got frozen peas and, and potatoes right there. Oh wait, I forgot about the alcohol. Now that's everything. Oh, I got buffalo chicken dip on my mask. Oh, is that what that is? What, you knew that? I saw something there. I don't know. I thought it, was, it had been there. Sure. We're at Costco along with the rest of Southern California. It was frankly a nightmare, so we're leaving. Listen, I knew that was going to be some level of nightmarish but I was not prepared for the level of hell we were, we achieved. First of all, every single person that's ever been, that's ever been to California was in that Costco today. They all came, the locals, the tourists, all of them. So finding parking was fun. And then we needed to get our membership. That was a long line. Then the membership card machine was broken, but it's okay, because you can do it on the app now, so that's what fine. is this woman I don't doing? know, I don't know, she doesn't know. Yeah, Mario is having a hard time because he is the one that's had to navigate this parking lot, which is extremely stressful. Uh, this was less stressful than navigating the store with that cart. Yeah, the store was, I mean, we're, we're, we're consistent goers of Disneyland. You think we would understand a crowd? No was horrific on all levels. I only got like four samples. I wanted so much more. And also, 
their food selection sucks. Like I've been to the Costco by my parents' house and it's first of all, way less crowded. And second of all, way better food options, like way better. So all in all, I mean, Mario got a fuckload of snacks, which is good, but there was not a lot of good gluten-free options at all. We didn't get any freezer food like I wanted. I mean, I'm still happy I, we cleaned out our freezer because that needed to happen regardless, but like not the, the haul that I wanted to get today, but I'm also in just like a severe amount of pain. So I'm going home to just lay on the couch for the next several hours. Hello, it's several days later. I am simply so out of breath. I had my 37 week appointment and then my 37 week uh, NST. And then I went straight from the hospital to Target. But I think the last time I saw you, I was at Costco. Costco, well, listen, part of this is on us. Did we go on a Saturday? The Saturday before the fucking Super Bowl? Yes, so that was a mistake <laughs> and that's on us, but it was honestly, they just, I don't know. They just didn't have a lot of the stuff I was expecting and I ended up getting a lot of the stuff I wanted at Target um, instead. So, camera's about to die, but I have my battery right here. As I was saying, um, yeah, I, uh, well, I put everything away from Costco. Actually, Mary put everything away from Costco a few days ago, but I can go on the app and tell you roughly what I got. Hi, buddy. I will say that I got a big giant thing of dates. It has like, I don't know, hundreds of dates in there. So I'm good on the cervical ripening for a while. Um, we got some mostly snacks for Mario, which is good because I'm always looking for snacks that he's gonna eat for his lunches because I often buy things and then I can tell he doesn't like them. He's a hard one to nail down, but he got a lot of snacks, which was great. I didn't get as many snacks as I wanted <laughs> that were gluten-free, but he got like Oreos, Reese's Cups, um, granola bars that he likes, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, that's his favorite cereal. Um, for me, I got some almonds, I got some dates, I got some uh, like cheddar cheese bites. We did get diapers for the baby, and I also got diapers for myself for postpartum. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it, that's kind of all we got. Oh, I got some dishwashing detergent because we were about to run out. Yeah, I mean, kind of underwhelming. I wanted to get a lot more stuff, but I'm gonna go through what I just got at Target because this is more in line with what I was thinking. And I'll talk you through my postpartum meal plan. So first of all, I got a lot of snacks um, that I can eat, right? Like Pirate's Booty, like bags of Pirate's Booty. Some gluten-free cookies. Yeah. And then my plan is, this is all toiletries. Um, I wanted, this is what I was looking for, something like this at Costco, but I bought a bunch of frozen pizzas at Target to just throw in the freezer because those are super easy meals. I'm going to make like a dozen um, gluten-free breakfast burritos that I can just freeze. So I'll probably do that either today or tomorrow. So that's the only thing that I'm gonna like pre-make is these just like breakfast burritos, which I don't even necessarily need to eat for breakfast, but also I'll have lots of frozen pizzas in the fridge. I'll have frozen burritos in the fridge. I bought a bunch of boxes of mac and cheese so I can just make mac and cheese. So I'm just thinking of like meals that'll take less than 15 minutes to make, um, or at least like require me to be in the kitchen for like less than five minutes for the actual cook time, but are like, you know, meals-ish. So pizza, burritos, mac and cheese, and then I bought a bunch of cereal. You guys know this is my favorite cereal. Quick meals, burritos, pizza, mac and cheese, cereal. I also have like f other frozen meals that you guys saw when I cleaned out my freezer that I already had in my freezer. So those are options. Plus we probably will get a lot of takeout. And also like, I don't know, maybe I'll be more up to cooking than I realize. You know, I have no concept of how I'm gonna feel postpartum. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got at Target. So the Costco run was fine, but ultimately I'm just really glad the freezer is clean. I can put a lot of this stuff away right now and make these burritos. That is our meal plan. It's not perfect. I will also say that um, we have local friends who have offered to cook for us. So we're anticipating some food from them. Um, we also have a couple of friends who don't necessarily live near us, who've offered to do like a virtual meal train where they order us takeout like for a couple nights after we immediately get home. So I have a feeling for the first couple of weeks between all of this and all of that, we're gonna be just fine. And then like I said, I might <laughs> I might be more up to cooking than I anticipate. But yeah, so that is the plan. I'm gonna put all of this stuff away. I'll catch up with you guys when I make these breakfast burritos. Okay, hello, we're gonna make our breakfast burritos or prep them or whatever the fuck we're doing today. Anyway, why did I just start the dishwasher before I knew I was gonna start filming? 
We're gonna make turkey bacon. I've uh, I've actually never made turkey bacon in the oven before, but because I'm gonna make a lot of it, it makes more sense to make it in the oven than on the stove. So my oven's preheating to 400. And I mean, again, I've never done this before, but it just says, separate slices and place on rack in shallow baking pan, bake 15 to 20 minutes. Here is my shallow baking pan with a rack on top. Boom. Okay, move this to the side while the oven finishes heating up. Next, I'm gonna crack 20 eggs into here. We're making 10 burritos. So, I don't know, that's why I have 10 slices of bacon. I'm gonna do 20 eggs, that's like two burritos, two burritos, two eggs per burrito. And then just like measure the cheese with my heart. It's literally just gonna be cheese, eggs, and bacon. I'm not doing anything fancy, cause whatever, you know? So, again, I've never done this before, but I feel like this ratio is right. And if I have leftover scrambled eggs, whatever, I'll just put them in the fridge and eat them later this week. There you go, fresh battery. And I'm out of breath because I had to go upstairs to get that. Okay, I've got eight minutes left on the bacon and I'm just gonna slowly scramble these eggs. I know for freezer stuff, like everything has to cool down to room temperature before it can be like assembled and frozen. So after these are done cooking, I'm just gonna like let them sit on the counter for like, I don't know, 30 minutes and then I'll come back and assemble. But in the meantime, they still have to cook. Eggs are cooked. I spread them out as much as I could on our biggest plate. Bacon is cooked. So I am, like I said, just gonna leave them to cool. I'm gonna go upstairs and do some work. Am I worried that the cats are gonna try and eat these things? Yes. Mm. Well, say love me. I'm gonna leave them to cool for 30 minutes and then I'll be back to assemble. <laughs> okay, it's actually been about 45 minutes. Cats did not touch the food. I know that because they were upstairs with me. So now we just need to assemble some burritos so yeah i haven't done this but how hard can it be how hard can it be ah fuck i did not factor in the gluten-free aspect of all of this say I stuck the landing with these burritos but I think they're gonna be okay I ended up having to double wrap them I ended up having to double wrap them because the gluten-free tortillas were not sturdy enough I didn't really think about that these are the sturdiest gluten-free tortillas they're just like the mission gluten-free that I've ever used for like tacos and quesadillas and stuff in the past so I just assumed they'd be okay um you know what they say when you assume so I was only able to get six I think if I had been able to get the 10 I wanted, I would have had the perfect amount of eggs. So I'm a little peeved about that. But I wrapped the burritos up, I wrapped them in tin foil, and then I will just take them out of the tin foil and microwave them when I'm ready to eat them. They're gonna be uh, messy, I think. <laughs> but hopefully they're good. And you know what, even if it just covers like six meals or if Mario likes them three meals for us, it wasn't that much work. So now in the freezer, I have four frozen pizzas, six frozen burritos, three frozen like Kevin dinners. They're just like uh, gluten-free pasta dishes that you put in the oven. Uh, four boxes of mac and cheese in the pantry. I got two boxes of cereal in the pantry. I've got enough snacks to last me weeks in the pantry uh, and in the fridge. So, you know, I got stuff and guess what? I'm gonna get a lot of takeout but that's all right. Between takeout, friends and family, and what I have, it'll at least get us through the first week or two. And then after that, you know, I might be up to cooking and stuff. So we'll see. That is gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. The next one is packing my hospital bag. Shit's getting real. Bye. <laughs>